because it is a good reminder. What is our church about? Our church is about glorif ultimately glorifying God, glorifying the Father. You know, I've had people say, you know, scoff a little bit at our church name, right? Our church name is Stronghold Baptist Church. And the reason why some people scoff at that is because there's many places in the scripture that just the word stronghold are used in a negative connotation. Because it's talking about heathen, it's talking about unbelievers, it's talking about people who maybe be fighting against God and their strongholds being taken down and their strongholds being destroyed. But a stronghold itself is not a bad thing. It's a bad thing if you're fighting against God, sure. But if you're on God's side, it's not a bad thing. And in fact, you know, of course, our church verse comes from Nahum. Uh, it's right here on our card, actually. Uh, that verse, Nahum 1, 7, says the Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. The Lord is our stronghold. Yeah, and that's where our name of our church comes from because we want to glorify God. God is the one who ultimately is our defender. God is the one that we trust in. God is the one that's going to be our defense. But there's another facet to the name Stronghold Baptist Church is that I want to, uh, you know, I'd like to see more strongholds for the Lord set up more places, more churches, more congregations where people are going to say, look, we're not compromising on the word of God. We're not backing down. You're not going to push us around. We're going to believe every word of this book because it's God's holy word. And I don't care how much the culture changes. I don't care what the media says. I don't care what the politicians say. I don't care what the false prophets say. I don't care what the world says. I'm not going to change what I believe if it's written in this book. Amen. We're going to maintain a stronghold. We're going to make firm our foundation on the word of God and not budge and not move. And if it's unpopular, so be it. Right. Yeah. You know what Jesus taught when he was on this, on this earth? It was popular with some people. But definitely not all. I think the result of Jesus' preaching is what got him arrested and crucified. There were a lot of people that rejected what Christ taught and what he said, yet Jesus Christ is the truth. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And that very message infuriated people. A lot of people. It gets people mad, it gets people angry. It's a message of love, truly. It's a message of truth, absolutely. But not everyone's willing to accept that. But you know what? As, as Jesus suffered, we should be willing to suffer as well. 